to besties this is your girl arlena i'm back at it again now this set that you're seeing here was my first attempt at frenchies i did those for gabrielle in october and when she came back i did the right set that you're going to see now so just showing you the difference with my frenchies and how much i have grown since i did them that first time um, I did not record this at the time, but hey, I'm just showing you so you can see the difference with my application or I guess you can see my progress, that's what I should say. Um, so this is what her nail had looked like when she came back to me. She only had two fingers that were off and they popped off the day before. She said she was grabbing at something and she hit her nail so hard. And both of the teddies were still on. I was able to take them off and she told me to keep them because she wants to use them again. <laughs> so, um, as I showed you there, I was using the Dynamic Nail Supply Monomer and the 876 Please Me Acrylic. That is such a pretty acrylic. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty and it matches Gabrielle's skin tone so well. It, oh, using this acrylic is effortless. Effortless. Great job, Chelsea. I just have to get accustomed to the consistency of it to make sure um, when I'm applying, I I have to make sure that I shake the bottle and stir to ensure that I don't get any marbling. That's my only issue with it. The first time I used it, it did marble a bit around the cuticle area. But I think I've learned the trick to getting it down smoothly. Um, so we're going to do a basic refill and Frenchies with gel polish.
Thank you. 
Okay, I'm back. I was just letting you guys listen to some music because Gabrielle and I were home alone, so I was able to just listen to my music and do my work without anyone talking or screaming in the background. But at this time, everyone came home, so it was yapping all the time and everybody asking questions and talking. So here we are. So we're at the finished stage and we're going to do the nail artwork. I use the Dream Nail Supply Top Coat and Misty Red. That's one of the polishes that I've also bought from Timu. And for my application, I'm using the Model Wands um, brush set that I bought from Amazon. I will try to get a pic of it and link it for you. That is a very nice very nice brush set. The bristles are very nice and soft. It's easy to manage. And it, it, it made me so proud of myself the way these Frenchies came out. Ooh, they came out wonderful. And I also did um, some bling placement. This is the first time I did actual bling placement for someone else. So I hope you guys enjoy my line work. If you are still here, go ahead and put a red heart in the comment section and a snowflake. So a red heart and a snowflake if you are still here. At this time, I would like to say my thank yous. If you are new, thank you for coming. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see future videos from me, go ahead and click that notification bell so that when I upload, you will be notified. If you are new, returning, sorry, thank you for coming. It's always a pleasure to have you here. I'm forever grateful for my subscribers who return. Um, don't forget to like and comment. And if you want to go the extra mile, share to your socials. I'm going to try to insert some Christmas music in here. I have to try and what I'm doing is trying to find it on my um, working phone and then transfer to the phone that I normally record with, which is my old phone, which is my S8. So I'm trying to find some Christmas music that I can insert because the ones that are in the UCAT app are very boring and I'm not down for that. So enjoy the rest of the video and I'll be back a little bit later. Table 
Hey guys, so that was a taste of what I grew up on as Christmas music. This is one of the famous Trinidadian Calypsonians. His name was, well, his stage name was Baron. His um, government name is Tim Timothy Watkins, and he's from the Caribbean island of Trinidad and Tobago. That genre of music is what we consider to be parang music. Um, it would have been music that would have been brought, originated from Venezuela and brought over to Trinidad and Tobago by Venezuelan migrants. Um, I'm from Grenada, yes, but I do have family in Trinidad, so I spent a lot, a lot of my vacation um, during Christmas and Easter in Trinidad as a child. So... I'm guessing that is where I got my love for para music because it was prominent during my childhood. But as a teenager growing up um, around Christmas time, that is the kind of music we would hear. So I thought, hey, why not share it with my subscribers? So if you guys want to know anything, you can always look it up on you um, Google. It is spelled p-a-r-a-n-g and it will teach you a lot about the west indian culture that i grew up in <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed it what i'm going to do is try to include um for christmas whenever i do a video what i'm going to try to do is include a couple of the songs that i grew up on as a child during christmas time um, I'm going to try my best to explain some of them. It's not going to be easy to explain all of it, but I will try my best to explain some of it. Um, I think Cutie is from Trinidad as well. So she, this type of music may resonate with her. I'm not sure how she was, how long she was living in the States, but I knew, I know that she was born in Trinidad. Um, QT, I hope that segment, that music segment, um, brought back some memories for you, some good memories, because I must say Christmas in the Caribbean is so different and I am, I'm from Grenada. I live in Barbados, but Barbados and Grenada, our Christmases are so different. Just thinking about it and trying to explain it to you guys brings back memories for me. Oh, I miss Christmas in Grenada. I miss Christmas in Trinidad. <laughs> Barbados is so different. It is so different. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Um, we're almost to the end. So I'm going to see what other short song I can play in the meantime. 
and then come back to say my goodbyes so because we're almost at the end of the video um it doesn't make any sense for me to insert any music so i'll just explain what i did um with gabrielle's set she wanted red frenchies and bling so i used the timu red um i think that one was misty um red and did her frenchies um i top coated with dream nail supplies top coat um cured in the lamp for 90 seconds then i added my mccart rhinestone gel or rhinestone glue and did did each finger um i tried to do each finger different so the left hand and the right hand each finger was different but they more or less had the same design this is the finished look i was so proud of my frenchies oh do you see how crisp they are and how very well symmetric they are ah oh, it was so lovely i was very proud of myself this was my favorite nail what do you guys think i hope you guys really enjoyed it and this is arlena sending you lots of love sunshine and rainbows from barbados bye you two besties Together with you, you know it's falling, friends are all